back to my channel. Today we are building a tree house. I got this inspiration obviously from the little campers kit. I was really excited to do something that kind of had to do with camping but I decided to make a tree house and this is actually a park lot type. It took me quite a while to figure out the kind of style that I wanted to do. I wanted to make sure that the leaves weren't so much in your way when you're actually at this lot enjoying it, playing in it. So I, it took me a little bit of fiddling, but I actually sized up the base game oak tree twice and that's how I got this size of a tree and I just put a base level down as you see and then that's how I ended up putting the second and third level for this so you climb up once on the ladder and it's kind of like a little play area obviously this is a tree house it's mostly designated for kids and teens toddlers can't use it because they can't climb up ladders but i think that this really turned out to be a fun little park area for family and friends and stuff like that i don't think that there's a whole lot for toddlers if i'm gonna be honest and that's partially my fault there is a few things that they could be able to kind of ask what is that and stuff like that but I was mostly thinking of children's and teens so I have the movie theater section I end up having a little grilling area there's some planters I used two of those swings because they are just so nice I could not use them but there's so many different areas in this park and I think it turned out pretty cute I do wish now that I'm actually working with the kit that there was some more swatches on all of the items all of the items are very very bright colors there isn't a whole lot of neutrals and especially for that blanket that's on the ground a lot of it is swatched based for like quilts and stuff like that and the base colors that they do have are like green blue and red so they're really really bright i wish that we had some like white or browns just some more neutral colors for a lot of the things because I was having trouble using some of the items because they are quite bright so I do end up changing the seating that's down in that movie section to be more of the base game bear chairs for the little ones and then I have some regular seating for the parents but I think that this is just a fun little lot I have built a treehouse before, but I think that was before I actually started my YouTube channel. It is on my gallery at Build Debris. I'm not exactly sure how good it is, but I haven't built one in a while, so I decided to try it again. I feel like I could have made it better, but I honestly wasn't really, I didn't have a whole big plan going into this. I know I just wanted to have a tree house and I wanted to use the kit, but I think it turned out okay. I mean, <laughs> there's a lot of different colors, there's a lot of different items, and I tried to stay to only a few packs. I used a lot of outdoor retreat, I believe, but upstairs here, as you see, I do have a few beds just because kids get tired so easily and there's also a bathroom up here which might be annoying for your sims but I didn't want to just have a building randomly on the lot I did not like how it looked and I tried adding ones where your sims just walk in they disappear come out and I didn't like how that looked either I thought it took away from the fact that there's this big tree house so I ended up just putting it upstairs and downstairs is where they have some of the like draw tables and I end up adding a few violins there's some benches I add another Sasquatch up there so it's mostly set for kids and teens to enjoy up there but on the main floor, I do have some chests, there's some 
game tables. Like I said, there are some grills. You can go fishing. There's planters. And you could also, if you wanted to, bring any of your sims who are in scouts. Because I have that scout little thing on the bottom of the tree house. I ended up adding a pond. I really like how it looked. It looks kind of mucky and yucky, but I felt like it fit with the vibe because there's a lot of browns and dark greens and stuff like that, and I thought it looked really nice. I added a few plants down there. I didn't want to fill up the lot too much because I know that it's kind of small. I didn't want it to be kind of annoying to get around. It's going to be probably annoying enough with the fact that you have this big tree in the middle of your building. But I just think it turned out kind of nice. It kind of reminds me of like a Disney camp area if I'm gonna be honest. I don't know why. I think it might be because of the movie section, the chess tables, and that big wood carving in the front entrance. I actually really like that thing. I sized it down because it was so giant, but I'm getting close to the end here. I'm adding a few finishing touches. Like I said, the grills, making it a little overgrown in some areas. I have the little s'more station. I tried using that sign, but I didn't like the brick. I didn't have any brick on here, so I felt like it would look weird if I add that. And there is a few trash cans, and I end up adding some planters in the back. It might seem kind of out of place, but I wanted to add a little something back there. And there are easels as well. There's all kinds of different skill building things here. And this is really perfect for bringing almost your whole family. Toddlers not so much because the toddler stuff is really bright and really bulky and it didn't fit nor did it look very well together. But that's okay. <laughs> I end up adding a few fairy lights around the whole building. I tried to do it on this base here and it looked really awful because it's curved, but I ended up just moving it to the treehouse main building itself and I think it looked really nice. It adds a little extra light over there, especially when it's dark out. I didn't want it too bright. I don't know. I, th I, I feel like it kind of took away from everything. I think it looks cool in the dark though. I did have to manually place these though by using alt because when I went to place them on the wall they stuck out a lot. So this is me putting a last few items on the bottom here but that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoy it and it is on my gallery at Buildabri. Thanks for watching. Bye!